Thanks, Robin. So next I have uh, right above that, Anonymous wrote in, with my close friendships, I feel like I am the proactive one who reaches out to make plans to get together. And if I reach out, no one reaches out to me. Uh, it's a seven, irritation and sadness. Mm. Yeah. So kind of the first thing that came to me was to look for the negative core belief. So whenever something happens repeatedly in life, like what does that mean? Does it mean, and it could be different for anybody. It could, could mean no one cares. It could mean I'm not good enough. It could mean I have to do everything myself underneath that irritation and sadness what is it and i i actually feel like that could be really juicy to get to because it can be different for different people like they might think that you're just so awesome and such a born leader and and so busy and so successful that they don't want to bother you or something right it it's it can be uh totally different like, you know, my mother never calls me. I'm always the one that calls her, but she just thinks I'm busy. <laughs> it's not because she doesn't care, but what do we feel about it? So that's the first thing that came up kind of in blinking lights is what's the negative core belief? What's the negative core belief? What's the negative core belief? And so whatever you get for you, I, did, I didn't get that. I, I went to something else, which I'll go to, but that is for you to give yourself. And sometimes these things are mm -hmm. such a blessing. Like I had actually, my coach did this once. I was like, I forget the issue, but it was like, you know, nobody listens or nobody cares or, and there, and she was like, well, why are you attracting that? And I was like, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't do that. I don't do that. Um, but, but you know, she was calling me to look at my part in that. Like, why is that showing up in my life? Right. So what in me is allowing it is, is, is this showing up for good, all for good, always for good. So if I'm totally filled with whatever, then this wouldn't be showing up. And so now and the emotion code and body code, um, it went to the pancreas, which I thought was interesting, right? I was thinking about sweetness with that. And so I got the, is the pancreas happy? No. Okay. What does this have to do with being, you know, wanting my friends to do something, but it, it was persistent. It was the pancreas definitely got pancreas, but it's none of these. Nope. Nope. These are all fine. It's not what they said is behind that. And I was like, okay, well, what is it? And it was uh, no will to respect self. So it's a mental belief, no will to respect self. So I was like, oh, well, that's that's kind of interesting, right? So somewhere I have no will to respect self. And it was kind of like what was showing up, like maybe you took that as not respect. I don't know. But it's like, oh, okay, I have that in myself. So let's all clear that out of us. Any no will to respect self on all levels and all layers. I'm even just seeing it like that white sheet, right? Like it's just lift it up and out. Yeah, we don't need that in our house anymore, in our mental house. And let's just fill with respect, 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 respect. And of course, we can get this from childhood. We can get it from elementary school. We could get it from ex-spouses. Respect, 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 respect. I respect myself a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand percent. I respect myself. I respect myself. I respect myself. I radiate and radiate and emanate and vibrate. Respect, respect, mm -hmm. respect. And then that must come back. <laughs>